silly. <laughs> Just like forehead. <laughs> uh, favorite book is uh, Breath by Tim Winton and then I suppose I just sort of pick it out whenever I'm feeling a little bit bit, bit lost and you kind of like oh I really need to connect with um, that book or that movie again distract myself with it um, life stress like work and and social life stress kind of I suppose retreating away from from that a little bit. I do think it's necessary, um, at least to wait for the storm to pass a bit and get through whatever shit you're sort of going through. I think I'd rather live in reality, but you would miss out on a lot, I suppose, the relief of getting through something hard. But that said, it's really nice to escape into something fictional. <laughs> I don't know, let yourself simmer a little bit um, fictionally, but yeah, in moderation. <laughs> The biggest challenge is probably be addiction, I guess. Once you're really hooked into it, you can start feeling like, oh, I really need this. Like, I can't go out without this kind of thing. That was like the biggest problem I had, and I didn't realize it until I'd be staying up to like 5 a.m. Just be like, oh, yo, like, I, I need to keep playing. Like, sleep, what a sleep, like, I don't need sleep. I, think, I feel like it just feels like a safe place for me because I usually play with my friends. Just escape of reality, I guess. You're in, a, you're in a whole different world, video game world. Ranges around, some days could be up to eight hours and some days could just be little to nothing. Sometimes it's like a stress-free zone, but it ends up just being even more stressful. Um, if something's going on, like my car and like listening to music, that's kind of like my safe space and like driving somewhere for 30 minutes and just like listening to music and kind of drowning everything else out, probably that would be, yeah. I think music is a really good way to kind of just be mindful and think about, you know, where you are in this space. Um, yeah, again, be present in the moment and just like escape from the demands and everything that the world's kind of yelling at you. Taking a moment to listen to the music that you want to listen to and um, yeah, transporting yourself that way. Yes. When did in the past year my <laughs> my brother passing away? Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's nothing deep or anything. Yeah, I guess um, just losing a family member, it pushed me towards just staying in my comfort zone for a lot of things, so not really, I think I went through a phase where I didn't really push myself past boundaries, so I kind of stuck to what I knew. Yeah, I think that's when I started leading in more to like just binge watching shows, staying within my own alone time and everything, just kind of keeping to myself, because I think it was harder in that time period to just talk to anyone about how I felt or just lean into anything new. To be human is to suffer and it's by enjoying you know, sunshine on your face and swimming in the ocean, which I do every day, you just appreciate life. So it's good to escape, but it's, it's the pain of life. That's why we're human, to be human is to suffer. And I paint this through my nudes, which is uh, big bottom women who are cellulite, sexy, you know, Rubens, you know, such is life. Uh, the quote is from Oscar Wilde, we are all lying in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Turning to movies, turning to music, turning to comics and things like that to have a break and have like a reset, not only gives your mind a break, it actually inspires you. The X-Men universe. Well, actually it's really funny because that kind of whole yeah, an analogy for like minorities, that was kind of like the whole story behind it. Um, and so it really resonated with like me, you know. I didn't really realise it, but like, you know, definitely that whole thing of like, the minorities, they're hated on by the rest of society, what they have like gifts, whatever. Yeah, I think that was really, really interesting. And, yeah. Probably being comfortable in myself. Yeah, I think, because I grew up in like an all boys Catholic high school, and it was like super not like open and open-minded. Um, and as someone who identifies as like gay, like a gay man, it was really like, tough. It really helped me overcome like issues of like myself and like what I didn't like about myself and learn to like love it. Yeah. I watched the Moses The Dark Knight Rises 
I have watched it more than 20 times maybe. Like this movie, particularly this movie, gives me hope. And you know, whenever I feel low, whenever I feel like depressed, frustrated with life, I feel like I'm going down. This movie actually gives me some motivation and I feel like that, yeah, I can do something. If he can, I can do it as well, yeah. I want to live in the, 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 the reality of Breaking Bad because in reality, it's sadness, it's frustrations. But whenever I watch any TV show, I feel like that, I feel like I'm actually living in that reality and I want to keep doing that forever. Movies and cinemas, from my perspective, is a part of my life. And uh, if I get the chance to do, be, to do, I mean, to spend my life with cinemas, I would do it forever. I don't want to study, I don't want to work, I just want to watch movies and cinemas for whole life, yeah. Thank you.